Hello and welcome. My name's Campbell. This is Autodidactic Channel. Thank you for joining me. And as always, autodidactic means to be self-educated. And we need to be self-educated because if we're not, the only choice we have left is to believe what other people tell us. And so today I thought we would have a look at what they tell us about Victoria in Australia. And of course, Australia is interesting because it's such a new, you know, such a new land, new colony, uh, just over 200 years old. What is what, 1788, they tell us, is when, um, you know, a boat turned up, landed um, and claimed it. And basically there was nothing here at all, just, you know, scrub and some, um, you know, very primitive natives is the story that they tell us. But is that true? Because here we are, uh, 232, sorry, 234 years later, and it's completely built out. But the main problem is, you know, with what, what was built out early and also what's underneath what we see today. So I want to have a look at Melbourne today. And I just had a quick look the other day just to see what I could see, basically. And because to me, this is an old world city and uh, this is a star city, what I call star cities, which means at one point it would have had, um, you know, a big star fort, then satellite stars. Um, it would have been walled and had, you know, the old um, features and street, you know, the higgledy-piggledy streets, all that kind of stuff, the canals. And, of course, looking from above, you know, we see, you know, things like what's clearly a man-made canal here. Um, this um, may have been man-made. It may have been, you know, that's something that they've used, but there's definitely, you know, canals down here. All this kind of area. So let's get in and have a look. All right, so this is um, Melbourne. So Melbourne City, this is the port city. Now, of course, you know, this is all man-made edges. I haven't looked into um, exactly, you know, the construction and the story of how these were built, but definitely at this point, this, this is all man-made. Uh, but when you start getting into, now this, okay, so this is not the Yarra, this is the Yarra here. So this is another river, but this, I mean, you can see these are clearly man-made edges. Right, and, you, and we find this everywhere. They always have these curves in them, um, but they're just, you know, perfectly equidistant. Um, and nature doesn't work like that. And even the Yarra River down here, same kind of thing, especially through here. You can see it's just all completely man-made, all equidistant. Uh, they always have their little islands, which they love. I haven't looked at this one yet. Maybe something down in there. Of course, we've got an interesting roof. And it's a sculpture park. Well, that might be worth checking out. All right, so let's have a look at what I found. So um, I found, what did I find? Old World Gardens. Okay, so I've just marked this out because you can see this has uh, got the geometry in the ground. And it's the kind of thing that we see everywhere in um, the old or the old world palaces, you know, that the, that the royalty loved to claim. And even down in here, you can still see some of it in there. Now this is botanic gardens, of course, some old world structures in here as well, which is very interesting. You know, these um, like promenades, these big lines they have, and they normally like this one, line up with something. This one goes, probably something that was here <laughs> to a hole basically, or there's nothing there, but um, you know, obviously this has been very built over. Another one I found was this, this is Carlton Gardens. Of course, this is the exhibition center. This is where they had the exhibition uh, in Melbourne, the World Expo. You still see the geometry there in the gardens, always water. And of course, a huge old world building. So up here, 
was just looking around now. This one, you know, I don't know, but I always look. You know, when you see these bends in the river and you see, you know, parks and golf courses and stuff, they're good places to look for remnants of the old world. That's where they used to like to put their, their stars and satellite stars. And what have I got here? So we come down here, you just see these funny lines in the ground, right? Can you see that? And this is the kind of thing that we saw out in uh, the Ukraine when we were looking at the Great Wall of Tartaria. They just see patterns in the ground of, of what used to be there. Of course, I, I don't you know. I don't know what these are. Uh, what have I got down here? Oh, okay. So just got this, you know, sort of again. These shapes that looks like a bastion, right? On a star fort, of course, on the water. So they're just, you know, obviously very small remains down here. Oh, okay. So this looks like an old wall. Um, you know, an old. You know, this is how they built the Star City walls, right? So there's one there, and if we come down, I believe there was some more. Um, maybe it was up around the corner. No, but so, you know, I don't know. Is that a bit that's popping out? Um, this is in Melbourne. I've just been there, but I didn't get a chance to get out to places like this. I just sort of was in um, the city. I've got down here, so... I think I'm just saying, is this whole thing maybe the remnants of a star? That's probably because of the wall, but, you know, oh, this thing, okay. So see how this has, you know, kind of a star shape? Of course, with water, you know, and then the middle bit. This is what we see a lot. So is that, you know, the remnants of an old star maybe? And down here... Course, you know, this is very old world, these kind of shapes. Like an octagon down here. Whoops. Another octagon here. So this does look like, you know, remnants. Obviously, they've got their park here. They love to put over the top another octagon. And so very, you know, interesting. I see all these sort of lines in the ground down here, different levels. I mean, who knows, but, um, you know, to me, that, that definitely would, some of that would be from the old world for sure. Not exactly sure what it was. And so down here, you have a star fort, well, the remnants of a, like a star satellite. And as you can see, there it is. I'll just um, move this around. And this, all this took me, you know, sort of maybe 15 minutes, guys, to find all these. So get on, you know, the Google Earth says it still shows some things that are true. That some things haven't been hidden yet. Oh, but you can see, you know, we've got these very familiar sort of star-shaped lines. These, these things, you see these everywhere, of course. They tell us they're for um, cannons now, and no doubt, you know, they did affix cannons to them, but um, they're definitely a feature of, you know, the old world. Um, got the edges here again. You know, they're never straight, right? I don't see, but you can see um, kind of the bigger picture there, and that this obviously would, obviously would have been bigger. Um, so there's one. And... This is the place to look for them too, on points um, near water. Now, of course, look at these man-made canals. You can see this one's been filled in a bit, kind of dies. And this one here, not so much out here, it looks a bit flooded out, but down here, and look at this, it's a whole canal sort of system. There's one coming down here. They're all perfectly straight, right? It's all remnants of them everywhere. Here's another one. So the old world in Melbourne, and of course, this is what they do these days, right? Just for real estate, not to help the greater, you know, good, just to sell land at high, high prices. And that, look at this, there's water here, and they haven't even, by the looks of it, 
connected it. So this this can't flush. This is a lake that's going to be, you know, probably just get stagnant. Uh, okay, down here, what do we have? Star remains. Okay, so there again, right? It looks like they've filled it with, what did they just left it? It looks like water. You can see get these familiar shapes, even this thing, old world. And of course, they just write this all off as um, you know, military forts, right? There's a nice point there, right? And it might be half in the ocean, but very old worldy. And of course, always, you know, the military take them over. And then there are two more out here. Um, and again, always out on the points, you know, on the heads and that you find these things. Or, or just do a search for forts, you know, and they, they will show you, they'll just tell you that they're from World War II. Uh, so out here you can see this is actually a lighthouse. I've um, got the old wall here, but we just got to see this, the shape of this wall. Just, you know, very old world. That's not how they build things. Today they build them in squares, straight lines and all that kind of stuff. And that is a lighthouse. There you go, look at that. Or is that an airship landing port? <laughs> Who knows? Or both, right? Um, so there you go, old world remains. And of course, when I see those, I always, uh, whoops, go across to the other side. So we've got one there. So basically, you go across to the next bit of land and you normally find stuff. So again, here we have these, see these round bits that they, See how this is now, it's not attached to anything. At last one we saw was part of the structure, the main structure. They always just say they're, they're cannon turrets, you know, like we have down here. These are sort of randomly placed holes. Um, then you have, you know, like little right angled walls here for no reason. This wall here, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Some kind of sea wall, not sure how old it is. Just um, lots of remains up here. So, you know, not full star forts like we find in um, Europe and even in America, but there's definitely remains of them here in Melbourne, Victoria. And of course, this is Port Phillip Bay. And I believe that's the biggest bay in the world, or one of them at least. Uh, Sydney Harbour is the biggest harbour in the world. I know that. Um, and it's very cold because the wind comes across here and so Melbourne is freezing. So yeah, guys, go check out your own cities. Um, look for canals, check out things on the bends, you know, like down here, we've got all this parkland. You know, you always find kind of remnants and things because we've got a big circuit here. Um, check out those. Uh, and also you'll see the city. You always kind of have these these kind of circular bits, and then they go across a bit, and then you'll have a bigger city. And down in here, so you'll even see the streets. See how these look like old world streets, all on different angles. And that's what they look like. So it looks like there would have been a line and kind of around here. You can kind of see it. And then there would have been a bigger city. So. Go and check it out. Um, lots of features everywhere, right? Canals, stars, old world buildings, um, many, many things that they don't tell us about. So I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Thanks for spending some time with me. Have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.